Tell all my hoes, break it up, break it down, bag it up. Fuck it up, fuck it up, fuck it up, bag it up, bag it up, bag it up, break it up, bag 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 it up. I tell all my hoes. Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another video and y'all already read the title of this video. I'm going to be giving my freshmen, my upcoming ninth graders, some high school advice. And this advice can also go towards to everyone in high school. And I'll be taking this advice for myself as well. But mainly towards my freshmen, but really for everyone else. But yeah, for the ones that don't know, I am an upcoming junior. So I really feel like I have a right to give my new freshmen some in high school advice because I feel like I've been through it all. Before we hop straight into this video, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'm not even going to talk y'all head off because I have a lot of things jotted down in my notes and I really want to cover everything so let's just hop straight into this video. This is an advice video but this is not no typical advice video. This is going to be in depth. So I'm going to be going over everything that I feel like you guys should know and probably some things that people have not mentioned in their video. If they have whatever but I'm just telling you everything that I wish I was told and everything that I stuck by that makes sense. Yeah, first things first, high school is not a high school musical. I feel like we've all thought our freshman year, like people that's been a freshman, we all thought that high school was gonna be like the movies. It's not, it's not bro. I kinda wish somebody told me this because I came into ninth grade thinking like, oh my gosh, it's gonna be just like the movies. It was not, like I was fooled. Thinking I'm gonna come to school, I'm gonna make all these friends, I'm gonna be walking around in these big friend groups, we're gonna all have lunch together, talk, slam lockers, find the love of my life. It was not like that. I'm just gonna like tell you guys the basic basic advice that you guys should keep in mind though My freshman year was actually a good year I feel like freshman year is always gonna be your best year of high school My freshman year was my best year of high school It was it was it was so much fun But y'all high school do go by very very fast Cause I'm already a junior I was just a freshman like two months ago That's crazy And I was also like one of those good freshmen I wasn't like one of those freshmen that got into drama etc Like that was just no I already knew what the deal was before I even got to high school You're going into ninth grade You Use that as a restart button. I feel like when you're going into high school, you're running to a new school, a new grade. High school is way different from middle school, so it's two different things. Unless your school is like a middle and a high school, but I feel like it doesn't matter. You're going into ninth grade, that's your first year of high school, so like take it as a reset button. Please leave that eighth grade immaturity back in eighth grade. Do not bring it to high school with you because no. And your maturity is definitely going to build up during your years of high school. But just leave that middle school stuff behind. And if you did not know already, you guys are the most hated. No shade. I'm just letting y'all know. When I became a sophomore the next year, I finally saw like why the upperclassmen did not like us freshmen because, bro, y'all are literally kids. Y'all not going to see that until y'all become a sophomore. The freshmen are always the most hated. And please do not come into high school making us dislike y'all even more with all this immaturity, all that baby stuff y'all got going on. A lot of people usually ask like is high school hard high school is only going to get hard if you make it hard for yourself high school is not hard at all it wasn't hard for me it shouldn't be hard for you just keep that positive mindset and you'll be just fine people will also tell you like oh freshman year is nothing you got to worry about you don't have to take it serious the grades don't count even if it didn't i would still take your freshman year seriously like this is your first year of high school this is your time to shine. Show these teachers what you got. That freshman year is very important because it does set the mood and the tone for your next three years of high school. So if you start off your freshman year bad, the rest of your high school is probably gonna be bad. It's gonna probably be harder to turn that around. If you start in your freshman year acting a fool, getting bad grades, etc. Like, and I mean, like, if you start your freshman year very bad, not just behavior-wise, but academic-wise, like I'm talking about you got like a 1.5 GPA, the end of the year, going into your sophomore year is gonna start off low and it's gonna be very hard to build up your GPA. So if you start up high, you will flow along high unless you like your stuff drop like during your sophomore junior year. Don't let that happen. But one thing I did wish somebody did tell me was to stand on my ground. I kind of eventually learned this throughout my freshman year. But I'm telling you, nobody didn't tell you already. Stay on your ground. Be true to yourself. Do not go to high school trying to play follow the leader. And also do not feel intimidated by these upperclassmen. Like they will try to make y'all feel bad. Do not let them get to you because they, then they just gonna keep continue to try to play it with y'all. And y'all not the one to be played with. Uh, but yeah, always stand on your ground. Be yourself. Remain humble. And also, do not let nobody peer pressure y'all to do anything that y'all don't want to do. Because I feel like when it comes to high school, that's when all that stuff starts happening. Like, especially now in this generation. But we can talk about that in another video or just whenever. It can even be your own friends or just people. They're going to ask you to smoke. If you don't smoke, don't smoke. They're going to ask you if you want to drink at this party. Because high school, there are a lot of parties going on. But we can also talk about that when we get to that topic. But yeah, do not let nobody make y'all do something that y'all don't want to do. 
stay true to yourself stay true into what you believe in like do not change yourself for nobody and i feel like a lot of y'all need to hear this because i feel like people don't say this enough let's get into academic and i know that you always gonna hear this about academics and classes and stuff okay but that's also very important just really everything that i'm going over is very important you come into high school when it comes to your classes you want to start off strong end off strong point blank period a lot of people like me for instance like when i came to my ninth grade year i did not know what my graduation requirements was like i know a few but i didn't know like everything if you don't know your graduation requirement find out and also take the classes that you need to get those requirements because not everyone is the same everyone needs to take different classes there are different type of like class levels i guess you can say so there's regular classes honors ap and ap is by far the hardest and i have not took not one ap class because i refuse um they do have dual enrollment which is for both high school and college credits so if you want to get a start with your college credits and get those credits baby now you can take dual enrollment my counselor did recommend me taking this but i just did not take it for some reason when it comes to your classes you want to always be prepared on your stuff organized your teachers are not gonna baby you. my freshman year some teachers did baby me i didn't let them baby me because i knew what i was supposed to do i brought what i had to bring i always turn my working on time like i didn't have to let them try to baby me and like you know scoop me to the side and make me feel like yeah always do your work ahead of time do not wait till the last minute to turn in your work do not act real lazy in high school trust me that work will pile up on you like one time i did that because i just did not feel like doing anything that was the worst decision i ever made turning your work on time you can even turn in your work early if they let you like most of our classes are online well like most of the stuff we have to turn in be online so like we can turn it in whenever time we want to turn in before like the due date so i would always do my work early if i had the chance i will take the chance do my work early turn in early so you don't have to worry about it well i don't have to worry about it being due tomorrow night and i already did it two days ago you know make time to do your work i know you may feel like okay i don't have time to do this i have to do something else but what's really taking your time is on phone it's on phones and i'm not even gonna lie because i'm usually more on my phone than i am focused on school <laughs> i'm not even gonna lie school is one of those first priorities like you have to get that work done you will have time to get on your phone you will have time to play the game you will have time to talk to your friends you will have time to go out but do that work first i'm an athlete y'all know this and i do multiple sports i've been playing sports all year long so i do make that time i usually get to school early and i would get that work done and if i have time after school i would get that done and if i'm at home and i have some type of time like if i'm not tired i will get that done like it's different if you've been doing everything you need to do all day and you're just tired and you just need a mental break and you just go straight to sleep when you get home that's fine but make sure you try to make that work up in the morning because you will regret not finishing that work the time that you had to finish it if you guys are put into honors classes trust me those classes are not like regular classes you guys learn the same thing but honors is meant for people that are well honor classes they make it feel like it's meant for people that work fast and like are ahead which you are that's really why that's really the purpose for honors classes is because you're ahead last year actually my sophomore year i had more honors classes than i did my freshman year i had damn near all honors classes last year and the only class i had regular was my history class i didn't want to take honors history because i really don't care for history that much but it was an easy class but still we've always had to turn our works like every day or every two days usually these teachers do not be playing depending on who you have do not skip class go to class like you have no reason to skip class now i will understand if you want to take a mental break and you just don't feel like going to the class but i really suggest letting your teacher know that okay i'm not gonna be able to show up to class today i need to go to the nurse i just want to like step out of class and do my work somewhere else well that works for me though in my school and my teachers because i'm cool with my teachers they know what it is with me i always show up do my work so when i do have those days where i just need a break and i just want to go somewhere else and do my work they usually let me but if your teachers don't play that then they don't just go to class if your friend is asking you to skip class with them don't skip class if they're skipping class and they keep asking you to send them to work i wouldn't even do it i know that's being a good friend but <laughs> baby that's on you like, sometimes you gotta be selfish sometimes when it comes to all that don't skip class because it's not worth it at all unless you have a reason to which there really isn't no valid reason to just go to class i feel like it doesn't make sense to skip class because okay you skip it today but you're gonna go back tomorrow like what's what was the point coming from a skipper y'all well i wasn't skipping like bad like i usually always ask permission to leave my class though so i wouldn't even really call that skipping but people that don't be asking permission and just don't show up to class at all teachers are going to know like it's 
on the attendance record. If you're not here for one class, but you're here for every other class, they're gonna know that you're skipping. Speaking of attendance, your attendance does matter. I don't care what nobody say. And they will tell you your attendance matters. If you're missing a lot of days of school, you probably won't even be able to go to the next grade or even graduate by the end of your senior year. I never really understood how people can miss so many days of school unless there's actual serious problems. But like people that just miss school for fun, trust me, that's gonna come right back to you and you're probably gonna end up failing. Don't be a boring freshman join some club join sports do something like don't just come into high school not wanting to do anything like that's lame i ain't gonna lie and even if you feel like you don't want to join nothing or you can't do something you don't know unless you try to do it when you're joining clubs and sports and stuff that's one of the easiest way to branch out and make new friends when i started joining clubs and i started doing sport at high school i met a lot of new people i branched out more and i met people that fit my description let's say that and if you're very outgoing, and even if you're not very outgoing or you're shy, I feel like if you put yourself out there more, that would give you a chance to make more friends and talk to more people and get more opportunities. And I'm actually going to get into that right now. But if you join clubs and you do as much as you can during high school, those definitely go towards your college applications and it will look so good on your college applications. But speaking of friends, my advice to y'all about friends is that friends come and go. That's it. That's the advice. I don't have to tell y'all nothing else. I'm I'm not gonna be like everybody that say oh don't come to high school don't make no friends do this do that no because we all need some type of friends we usually always gonna need people by us okay it's okay to be alone but trust me you're gonna want friends and my best advice to y'all is to scope everybody before even trying to be buddy buddy and that's what I did I came to high school I didn't want to be everybody friend I didn't just jump from group to group to group I read everyone I've seen I read people in my classes I scoped I mean head to toe personality the way you talk the way you do things like i made sure okay that's the right friend for me give everyone a chance like sometimes i get tired of hearing people say oh no don't get friends people are fake da, da, da. okay yes people are weird and people are fake but it's not everybody like, there's a good majority of people that do you know but there's always that good amount of people that are real and you should just give them a chance. Don't be surprised when people start acting fake and acting weird. And I feel like the number one reason for that is it's because it's high school. You have a whole life ahead of you to make even more friends. People do grow apart and people do drift away and they also mature faster than others. So that's really why people, um, friendships do break apart. Like my friendships only broke apart because we just drifted away and just went into our own little world. You know, we just became and learned more about ourselves to the point where it was just like, I don't know, like us being friends isn't just like, you know what I mean? Like I feel like and drama is just so immature i've never fell out with anybody because of drama it was always just because we just stopped talking it is true that friendships don't usually last not all friendships are gonna last like trust me you're gonna go into your freshman year with a bunch of friends and your senior year is gonna end up with two probably just one or probably none at all some advice for my people that are very i don't know what's the word please do not try to be a group hopper i just made up that word i don't even know if that's a word for real but please do not try to hop from friend group to friend group just because you want so many friends you want to hang with the popular people it's not worth it because of me i believe you are who you hang around if you're hanging around people that do such and such and such you're gonna end up being in that mix and you don't want to be in that mix but if you are socially awkward it is okay it may be a little harder for you guys to make friends honestly you just have to force yourself to branch out more and just start talking to people always start a conversation if you are socially awkward i just recommend trying to push yourself forward and try to like just talk to new people start conversations because one thing about me i'm gonna start a conversation with you drama stay away from from it and that's one thing that's relatable to these high school movies is drama but the drama here in high school will be outrageous but I mean, it is so important to stay away from drama because trust me one it's not worth it and two it's just childish it's actually very easy to stay away from drama it's just stop hanging around the people that bring drama once you hang around people that do bring drama your name is always going to be in the mix of it even if you ain't do nothing you're going to be hated by somebody somebody not going to like you somebody going to try to fight you because they're not cool with your friends like you know how that goes people will drink you. It don't matter how loud, quiet, small, big you are. They're gonna drag you into their drama. So please stay away from it. Walk away. Everyone is gonna know everything. When it comes to social media, that's one thing people in high school are big on. They wanna post everything on social media. When stuff come around, it goes around. Every week at my school, there was always some new drama going on. Yeah, please don't take nothing to social media. Don't take nothing to social media. Be mature about it. It may seem like people gonna think you soft because you're quiet, but it's better that way. Fighting, unnecessary. No need to fight. You're gonna get suspended. It's gonna be on your record. 
And then you just gonna think about like, damn, like my freshman year, I just got into all these fights and now I can't get to the college I wanna go to. I can't even go to this school no more because in my school, they do not play. When it comes to fighting, it's either after one fight, okay, you get suspended, but that second fight, you're kicked out of school. My school don't play that. So let's talk about everyone's favorite topic, relationships. <laughs> don't get in a relationship, bro. Like it's your first day of school. Don't think you finna go look, searching high and low for a piece of treasure that's not there. And I say this because I don't mean don't get in a relationship at all. Don't get me wrong. I don't mean like don't get in a relationship. What I mean is just don't go looking for a relationship. Okay, if you're like in that mature level to be in a relationship, go ahead. But trust me, relationships don't always last during high school. They usually end up being two-week trials and they call it a day. Don't send news. Don't send no type of videos. These boys are actually very immature in ninth grade. So immature. Do not send no news because trust me, they will get around. That is super nasty. Respect yourself, please. And when it comes to being in a relationship at such a young age, especially during school, you're definitely going to get distracted. You're not even going to realize you're going to get distracted until you actually get into the relationship and you go farther into the relationship to where you're always thinking about that one boy in class. You always want to go see him you want to do this over your work like freshmen please stay away from these seniors like i don't know how i can't stress this enough stay away from these seniors they're not for you they're just here to play in your face like these seniors are 17 18 you're what 14 15 especially coming into ninth grade, you're usually like 14 don't let these seniors play you stay away from these seniors because they don't want nothing from you i've never been with a senior before okay i've had senior friends because I just kind of knew them. Only people that I've known, like, way back. If you're gonna date somebody, date someone that's, like, on your maturity level and actually, like, be serious about it. Don't just date because you just want a boyfriend because everybody else get in a relationship. But usually my best advice is to let the relationship come to you. Don't go looking for a relationship. Once you're looking for it, you're gonna stress yourself out. Your time is gonna come. Maybe it's not gonna be in high school. Maybe it is. Some people don't get in a relationship their full four years of high school. Some people do, not just their freshman year, but you know, sometimes they're in high school. Okay, that's fine. But don't feel like you have to go look for a relationship because you don't. Make sure you guys are private about everything. Do not tell y'all closest friends. Like, I don't care if they're your best, 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 best friend. You do not have to tell your friends every little thing about you or something that happened because trust me, when y'all stop being friends, they're gonna go out and tell everybody. They're gonna tell the whole world. Like that was not your friend in the first place. We all have insecurities. I can't stress it enough. Not everybody is perfect. High school, you're around a bunch of people. You're around different people that do different things, that dress differently, their view, whatever. Well, number one, do not tell everybody your insecurities because like I said, once y'all stop being friends or y'all get into an argument, they will bring that up and you're going to feel bad. And also, don't joke about anyone else's insecurities because you don't want nobody joking about your insecurities. Don't joke about somebody else's. That's also bullying. Like, that's so lame. Don't bully. Just joking and talking about somebody, that would definitely stick with them forever. So just don't. Because you don't want nobody talking about you, so don't talk about somebody else. Not everyone's self-esteem is high. Like me, my confidence is way up here. But not everyone's confidence is where my confidence is at. I don't mean to like sound rude or nothing, but like not everyone's self-esteem is up there. So you don't just want to go around talking about somebody because that will stick with them forever. And kids now, they just feel so down and feel like they haven't compared themselves to everyone that they see not just in high school but social media don't take things personal when things get said to you don't take it personal joke it off laugh it off move about your day this may be hard for people that are just mean mugs and just mean girls but be nice to everybody i'm always that bubbly person i'm usually nice with everyone even the people that don't like me like if you don't like me you don't like me doesn't mean that i don't dislike you because i have no reason to be nice with everyone be comfortable with the people that you're comfortable with like i don't know just be nice there's no reason to be mean don't be a mean girl like that's lame and if you're a boy watching this don't be a mean dude always compliment people too i will always compliment a female or whoever like if i see somebody that looks really really pretty which everyone is beautiful in their own way i'm always going to take my time out of my day to compliment something about somebody because you never know that will definitely make their day i always receive compliments and i'm just so thankful like they make my day but i'm not saying just compliment people just to compliment people truly mean that dress how you want to dress in high school y'all i'm pretty sure all high schools you don't have a dress well everyone has a dress code like don't wear the booty shorts and whatever but like i know most high schools you guys get to wear whatever you want if you don't if you have to wear uniform good for y'all because sometimes i wish that i still wore uniform do not judge people for what they have on wear what you want to wear and be comfortable in your own skin i just dress for you don't dress for nobody else i will say 
when it comes to that first day of school first week of school go ahead and dress to impress okay people might say you're doing too much but it's the first day of school this is your time to shine school is not a fashion show people always say oh yeah i take school as a fashion show okay it's okay to look good at school every single day trying to stay fly like it's not worth it like you will see me looking good for a good couple of days and the next couple of days i'm gonna wear something comfortable i feel like i should have went over this like before but hygiene for my ladies hygiene is important during school always have your emergency kit if you don't have an emergency kit please get you one and put everything that you need in it and i mean pads tampons whatever you use when you're on your cycle perfume wipes travel size things that you need in your emergency kit to take to school take it even your hair stuff take all of that some girls start their periods earlier but some actually start their freshman year so i actually do recommend bringing like extra pads and stuff for other females they are like just starting or like they end up forgetting their things because i always have extra stuff in mind and i'm always quick to like hand them out when i'm in the bathroom or whenever a female asks for it stay prepared bring your emergency kit every day though because it's not just for your cycle, it's really for everything that you need. That's pretty much everything. I feel like I've went over everything. I feel like there is a lot more advice out there, but this is mainly everything that I've stuck with with myself since my freshman year. And I feel like I can pass this on to y'all. All of the things that I mentioned is something that I wish I was told and things that I've just followed by. And I'm an upcoming junior, so I feel like I'm going to do just fine this year. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe so you won't miss out on any videos by me. If you guys are an upcoming freshman, once again, please enjoy your freshman year of high school and high school along the way. Everything that I just mentioned does and can apply to y'all, so take it or leave it, okay? Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, y'all. Break it up. Break it down. Bag it up. Fuck it up, fuck it up, fuck it up. Bag it up, bag it up, bag it up.